Hey guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel and welcome to day 14 of Sentimus. Day 14 is here and let's get into it. <laughs> so today's fragrance is going to be from the house of Hugo Boss. What is this? <laughs> Hugo Boss, the scent private accord. There you go. Okay, so the House of Hugo Boss, I'm not like a huge fan of. I think I've said that before, I just haven't really fell in love with anything from this house. The, my favorite Hugo Boss fragrance would probably be uh, Hugo Boss number one, I think it is. Like the yeah, old school one, that's a really nice um, old school classic. But everything else that I've tried from this house, Hugo Boss, I just find them very, very meh, like seriously, like actually really bad. <laughs> so this is Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord. I think this is a newer release of Flanker. There is what the bottle looks like. I've seen this in the store and I always just like bypass it. I never really want to go test it on my skin. So let's get some of it here. Show you what I'm doing. I'm just like dabbing my skin with the cap. Okay, so that's what the vial looks like. <laughs> Not that it matters. Okay, hopefully I'll be surprised by this one, but I'm really, really doubting it. Okay. Okay, so it's not what I expected <laughs> right away. Um, what I was expecting with this is probably, um, not probably, a very strong lady musk with that very super sweet synthetic-y synthetic -y, chemically sweetness that we find in a lot of women's designer fragrances. Upon first sniff, I'm not getting any of those. What I'm getting here is surprising me. <laughs> On my skin, I'm getting like a powdery chocolate sweetness. Really? Yeah, like a almost boozy, a slightly, slightly boozy-ish, slightly powdery-ish chocolatey kind of smell. There's, it's heavier than I thought it would be too because there's like a heavier base. But I've, you know what, honestly you guys, I've been sniffing a lot today, doing a lot of testing, so <laughs> hopefully I'm not being influenced by those smells that I smelled earlier today. But on my skin, on first sniff, it's like a slightly, slightly boozy-ish kind of smell with a touch of chocolate. Not a strong chocolate, just a very small touch of it with a small touch of powderiness as well. And like an earthy kind of base. It's quite faint already on my skin, so it's already dying. But I'm really, really, really surprised by that. Okay. I just saw the notes. Okay, I'm gonna read this to you. An addictive twist of the original fragrance. Ex ex exquisite notes of sweet mandarin, captivating osmanthus flower, sensual cocoa absolute, and warm roasted tonka combined to seduce the senses. You know, as soon as I saw cocoa absolute roasted tonka, those are notes that I, I love. I love chocolate notes, cocoa, tonka bean. It's just beautiful. But uh, wow, <laughs> this one's better than I thought, you guys. Way, 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 way better than I expected. I will have to test this out more on my skin because on my skin here, it's already getting pretty faint, which is kind of disappointing quite watered down. It smells like as well. It feels watered down on my skin. But I'm going to test this more. I'm really, really surprised. 
that the, it was like a gourmandy floral. But mostly like gourmandy in the beginning, which I love. I love gourmand fragrances. So, wow. I will test this out, you guys. And if it's anything worth mentioning, I will probably talk about it in a future video. Or maybe write something in the comments and the description box about it. But yeah, I, I really, I like this so far. Finally, 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 something has piqued my interest from this house. <sighs> wow. You know what? It's, I think it's because the men's Hugo Boss fragrances have been such a turnoff from the ones that I have tried. And like the men's Hugo Boss United, Boss Bottled United, that won the award for one of the worst releases of 2018. <laughs> but yeah, this one um, smells quite nice. And I'm very, very surprised and very pleased. And I'm really excited to try this out on my skin to test it out and see how it, how it develops. So that were, those were my quick thoughts on Hugo Boss, the scent Private Accord. If you guys have tried this fragrance, please let me know your experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And it's reminding me a little bit also of the opening of Lilac Love by Amouage, but not as cocoa-y or chocolatey as that one and not as floral as that one, but it has like resemblances, like similarities between the two being, you know, that powdery, nice powdery chocolate on top of a bed of flowers. They have that same, uh, those things in common. So that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed day 14 of Scentmas. I will be back tomorrow with day 15 and I'm happy about today. Yay. <laughs> I'm really, really, really excited about this one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi Andrew. What are you doing? My bicycle. Why? What's wrong with your bicycle? Can we see the injury? Injuries? But well, we're gonna show one injury. See. Ow! What happened? Anyway. Me down. He's, he's gonna test his bike to see if it still works. Hopefully, it still works. <laughs> it looks like it works. Does it work? Oh, really? It's flat? Oh, okay. It works. Yay! Yeah. Say bye to everyone. Mm. We're gonna have French fries here. It's so so yummy. Probably the best fries place that I've ever had, oh, that I've ever been to in Holland. Today I ordered the big hot cheese with the warm, spicy cheese sauce, cheddar with jalapeno, paprika, pickles, and spring onion. And then Mark just got the regular fries, but he also had some special um, truffle mayonnaise and some big, this big sauce is their special sauce. It's a uh, fresh, sweet curry ketchup and li uh, li lime. <laughs> and this is their, their special of the month. I don't really like the taste of curry worse or curry in general, so I passed on this one. But yeah, I'm hungry. Ooh. So this is Mark's regular fries. And he's gonna grab some salt. The big, their special mayo, and then we have black truffle mayonnaise, and then we have my dish with cheese and hot peppers, and it's all yummy. <laughs> Are you excited, Mark? Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't look like it's working. I see some coming out. I hardly see any. There's nothing coming out. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna eat, and um, 
I wish you there was taste vision <laughs> They would be like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're done, and we completely cleaned out our plates, except for some uh, really spicy jalapenos, which I didn't really like so much. Yeah, that was lunch.